so the concept now we are, what we are going to learn is you know uh, it is a uh, uh, reading uh, info package info package execution and this info package will load data from a11 so generally when we create uh, any flat file data source what we do we generally load data from our local workstation but sometimes our requirement will come in such a way like the file is to be picked from the a11 directory okay not from your local workstation but every every day uh, some other uh, you know team will place some files on your a11 directory and your pro, your info package must pick data from there okay in such cases what happen whatever flat file load you create that flat file load the file name must be read from the you know uh, directory uh, a11 directory application server directory okay you can say so to in explain this scenario so to pick this uh, uh, file name dynamically you need to write some, implement some code in the info package level right so i will now i will explain you how to write where to write that code in your info package to explain this scenario i created one data source called gds sr sales one so this data source contains uh, these are the fields and in the extraction tab what i given on the adapter instead of you know load file from the work, local workstation i changed it to load text type file from the application server it means instead of loading from your local workstation it will look for the file in the application server so when it is looking for file in the application server you must mention here clearly either you can give hard code the path so in which way for example my file is in the location here so this is my file so this my file is available under this location so copy this keep it here slash and your file name either if it is a, a daily if you are getting same kind of file into your application server so simply what you can do you can hard code your file name like this enter if you are, because my file doesn't contains any header rows i can ignore header rows zero and then activate it so it will be activated show file content so it is reading the file content happily so no problem so this kind of implementation is called hard coded implementation okay so you are hard coding your you know uh, info package uh, your data source to one particular file name for example if this is not the case you need to dynamically provide the file name well, for example current date file okay uh, then how to write so in that in such cases you need to implement some routine okay so where you will implement the routine here by create routine for file name here we need to click on it uh, first it is asking to save it click on save button and then click on the routine button it will ask uh, okay going for the gui here uh, routine just i'm writing some name here click on editor so this is the editor so here in this editor we need to implement our logic to fill the data okay so at the end if you see by default it is telling the name to be whatever name you are going to uh, not name whatever file path you are going to select and along with file name okay you must provide it to this p underscore file name so p underscore file name must contain the path like this so this is uh, one second so this is called the first one this is called as the file path and this is the file name so concatenation of these two information you must pass to this file name for example you see i am copying it and i am passing it to the file name p underscore file name uh, as a string okay and then clicking on check button everything fine and then clicking on save button uh, go back uh, sorry close this one now routine hit here it came routine came now if i click on show file content uh, you see data is coming so what happened whenever i click on show file content it went to this routine and uh, from this routine it, it identified the path along with the file name and displayed the content on your screen so now this file this here also simply what i did i did hard coding only but if you need some implementation here then you can do that implementation how to for example if you want to concatenate you know current date uh, to your file name for example file name is same thing but daily they will place files along with the date information for example this is the copy copy here so they will place a file for example today's date is 2022 11 
zero seven. So every day they will place a file along with the date information. So to, this is today's file. So if you want to get the yesterday's file, you, they will place here like this six. And uh, for example, tomorrow they will place file eight eight. So when the process chain is executing on day-to-day -day basis, it has to pick the current date file. So in order to pick the current date file, here you need to implement a logic to concatenate this one. So for that, you need to write some code here. So I will try to show you how to write a small code here. Okay. So first I am defining a variable lv underscore directory type, you know, string. So the path is same because whenever we have this kind of requirement, we will uh, we already you know inform to our uh, uh, other other party that always must keep the file under same path. Okay, they are not supposed to change the path day by day. Okay, so that's why I am hard coding this directory path to here. Okay, and then p underscore file name. Mm lv underscore file name type again string okay so why, why i'm taking string so file name also uh, i am concatenating concatenate uh, what was my file name so this is my file name starting part at least prefix of my file file name must be in this way and then concatenate with underscore and then followed by side item of first uh, side item into lv underscore file name so doing so what happened here i am preparing my file name so uh, file name uh, the you know gcr oh sale to underscore date side item provides the current date information okay by this way what happened in this file name by the end of this uh, you know code execution my file name will be in the format of so like this so gcsr underscore current date uh, dot csv we are missing dot csv so we must uh, prefix it dot csv also here okay name information it means only this uh, particular file name is there but where is the path before we sending this information to this uh, p underscore file name we must uh, prefix this with path also correct so for that reason what i need to do i need to write one more concatenate statement concatenate lv underscore directory lv underscore file name into so either simply i can uh, concatenate and do send it uh, directly to the p file name or I will again, I can bring again into file name and then, you know, assign it to you. Either way, I can do it. Okay. Now, you okay, can simply click on check button to check if it is working fine or not. Yeah, everything is fine. Save, close this one and come to the data source. And, uh, you know, derive fields, uh, show file content because the file content cannot be read because I don't have any uh, file and data format also. Here, I need to specify. I did some issue. Activate this. So currently, if I execute, you know, show, if I go to show file content, also it won't come. Why? The reason behind it is not coming means uh, because uh, the code which I written, I taken the date also as a prefix here, but I don't have any file with this date. So for example, if I, you know, miss this date, just to show you the scenario, active, uh, save this one, go back. Now, if I click on show content, this will bring the data. Why? Because I removed that date, because uh, I have the date. So where I can see that uh, file name, what it is deriving. Um, yeah, here it is not showing the file name it is deriving. So I hope it is clear. So at info package level, we will write routine to in order to bring the latest file from the A11 directory. In such cases, we need to write the routine under this, uh, you know, uh, here in this section. So while you are writing the routine at the end, whatever file path and the file name you are deriving, it must be passed to this P underscore file name variable. Okay, so the logic, how you derive the file path, how you, how you, you know, create your file name, everything depends upon your logical ability and as per your requirement.
okay for example sometimes what will happen they will they won't place the file uh, with the um, yeah they will place multiple files uh, and always ask you to take the latest file in that in such cases uh, what you need to do you must go to a11 and sort your file in descending ascending order and take the latest file okay it's all your uh, you know logical abilities and programming skill ability to write the code okay that's it but the, at the end the way how we write the code is in this way only it is important to send the file name properly along with the path and the file information to this particular one and one last scenario what i want to cover for example what happens if i give in small letter csv in my application uh, directory i have my file with the capital csv but in the code i am going to pass the small csv so will system accept this uh, format or not let me check show file content you see it is not uh, not able to you know access that file because the file it is looking for dot uh, small dot csv but in the application directory we have capital letters right so for that reason also it is not so it is important even the extension whatever you are passing to this file is also uh, you know alpha num uh, case sensitive only with capital csv it is able to identify the recognize the file okay keep this in mind you see it is working whenever i give capital csv so that's all for about this you know info package level routine so in our next session we will learn about how to write dtp level you know filters uh, dtp level routine uh, to handle the filters okay that, that's all for today i'm stopping recording